I read online, why don't fast food joints at least give us the option of whole wheat bread? And that's a really good question, but the answer is because it wouldn't make a difference. Yes, no, what, no kidding. This is a wheat kernel. It's what we harvest to turn into flour to make our bread. There are three main parts of the kernel. The bran, which effectively acts as the fiber of the grain. The germ is the embryo of the grain, the part that grows into a new plant. It holds and provides a lot of vitamins and minerals. And then we have the endosperm, which is the fun part. It's starch. It provides the energy. In this case, we can loosely translate energy to sugar. Sugar is fuel to make energy. In fact, if it wasn't for the endosperm, this plentiful starch, we wouldn't be nearly as interested in the wheat grain, as this is the only thing that's left over when we refine the grain down into flour. That's right, we take out the bran and the germ when we make flour. Well, contrast that with whole grain wheat flour. We leave the germ and the bran in. That's awesome, we're saying that we're leaving in the fiber. But, as you can probably guess, it may not really be as it seems. So what's going on in the body? Why exactly does whole grain wheat bread have the same effect as regular old white bread or even bun bread? First things first, we're only allowed to say whole grain because the entire grain is in there somewhere. Or you can actually get away with just 50% of the entire grain according to the rules. The number one rule of fiber, it works best untouched. Fiber is cool because it's resistant to absorption due to its molecular complexity. It interacts with water and becomes this viscous gel-like substance that never really gets into the blood but it actually coats the entire area where absorption does take place. And what this does is it slows everything down significantly, right? Slowing down digestion. And as a result, this slows down glucose absorption, setting the grounds for a smooth and fair transition of glucose into the blood versus the violent spike of sugar we usually give our body when our carbs are void of fiber. The only thing keeping fiber from acting like a straight up Jolly Rancher in the blood is its complexity. So go figure, you take the complexity away and things start to make sense. That's like if I gave you a bag of loose keyboard keys and I said, hey, I need you to write me a 10 page paper. You're gonna look at me like, what? How can I do that with loose keyboard keys? The keyboard only works as a whole item. In that same fashion, whole wheat fiber can actually work like whole wheat fiber in pieces. It only works as a whole. That whole grain wheat bread is coming in one point less than white bread on the glycemic index. 